Okay, today I'm going to show you how to convert quarterly data to annual data. Okay, quarterly to annual. In order to do this, you will need to have your um, quarters and your years in different columns. So the first step is to take this information here that has our quarters and our years and place them into a part of our spreadsheet that's got lots of room, nothing above, nothing below, so that we can um, uh, uh, split these out and split up the quarter information and the year information. So let's highlight um, our dates, copy, and paste them into another part of the spreadsheet. Now, um, Excel often, um, you know, if you have, you know, your date stored as, your, your quarter stored as like 01-00 or 04-00, Excel will sometimes be confused about whether these are, you know, which one is the quarter and which one is the year, um, and it can mess them around. So before you do anything else, easy fix is just take the format of your, your cells here um, and change it to text. That just stops, you know, any kind of, you know, messy Excel doing anything. Um, you know, sometimes it just it's easier not to have to argue with Excel. Okay, now the operation to split up your quarters and your years is to, under your data tab, choose text to columns. Scroll down in the little window until you can actually see your data. Go on to next and then choose whatever makes your quarters and your years go into different columns. Generally, the default is tab. Tab isn't working for me here, so I need to use space. As soon as, as, soon as I hit space, these go into separate columns. And I go next. Looks good. Finish. That's it. Okay. So my first step, taking my date, date information and splitting it up into two separate columns. Now I'm going to tell Excel to add up my data only for the first quarter. So I'll say if this here is um, equals Q1, Right, so if I'm at the first quarter, then I'll add together all of that year's observations. Otherwise, I'll make it into a zero. Okay, so if we're in the first quarter, we add up all the observations for the year, otherwise, we don't. Okay, well, that looks right. Let's just copy and paste it. And see if it looks right. Yeah, so this is doing what we want it to do. So it's giving us the sum of all the year's data for um, the first quarter, and the other quarters are all zero. Okay, well, then all we have to do now is get rid of the zeros. Okay, so um, we're going to do another copy and paste operation. Control C. Um, and then we're going to do a, a special paste, Control um, Command V. Um, going to paste the values, not the formulas, paste the values. Okay. The reason that we're doing it is we're going to want to, we're going to reorder all of these things. Obviously, if we start reordering things, um, these numbers are going to change, right? So, um, uh, so we're just, it's just cleaner to do it this way. 
Okay. Now, um, the next step is to sort the data. The purpose of uh, sorting the data is to put all the zeros at the bottom where we can ignore them. Okay, so data sort. Um, sort by column J, that's where your data is. And sort from largest to smallest. Okay, now it's looking pretty good, right? We've got our data, we've got, we've got our annual data, the only little, the only, just the one little snag here is that our years are all out of order. Okay, so we go data and we sort it again, this time by our years, column I. And now we're going to do smallest to largest. Yes, it worked. You can check it worked because you know, here we have this, and we'll just uh, do a little double check, um, adding together our one, two, three, four. Yep. Yeah. This is our annual data for 2000, our annual data for 2000, our annual data for 2000. And there you go, taking the quarterly data and made it into annual data.